Well, what's up, guys? We're back here at AMC Chasing Cinema.com. James Shu, how are you? It's an exciting week. It is. It's been a little slow, I felt, after Man of Steel. Yeah, it's kind of slowed down. It's been bumping the brakes a little bit. Lone Ranger stuck me too, or kind of mediocre. Yeah. Pacific Rim Grown Ups too. We talked about it last week. We're not really excited for either of the pictures. I'm not. But we're going to talk about Pacific Rim. Yes. We have uh, Del Toro. Yep. It's, Director. An, it's an expensive movie. Yes. This is supposed to be his most serious picture yet. Yes. He went on saying that he wanted this to be the mentality of a 12 year old. Creative, fun, out there, but at the same time he wanted some serious to be. What are you expecting out of tonight's movie? Well, if it goes in the action round, I want it to be fun, cheesy, I want the cheesy dialogues, I want it to be really exciting. You know, Jack Reacher comes to mind. That movie was fun, serious, but exciting at the same time. So I'm hoping it kind of goes in that vein. Del Toro is an incredible director. Yes. Um, Pan's Library is one of the Everyone's best films, Pan's you know, Everyone. of course. Uh, Mama wasn't too crazy about the last movie that he kind of worked on, but this movie hopefully brings him back to his, you know, Throne. But we have someone that uh, I think uh, is a great actor. Idris Elba. I don't want to Idris, butcher Idris that. Idris Elba. We, hey, can't blame us. A great actor. The movie is how long? About two hours and fifteen minutes. Two hours and fifteen minutes. Yep. We'll be back. Monsters and robots. And we're gonna see how the movie was. We just got out. Pacific Rim. Yes. Chasing Cinema. You seem more excited, so you go first. I absolutely loved it. You loved I, it. I came in not expecting anything, and I absolutely loved it. The fighting, it, I just loved it. Loved it. I'm kind of afraid of what you're going to say. Well, Chasing Cinema, <laughs> give it to us. You ready? It was okay. That's, that's about it. And very anticlimactic, I know. My problem with uh, Pacific Rim is that it gets boring. It gets very redundant towards the middle of the picture. For the first two acts, I was bored. The fight sequences between robots and monsters. You can't go wrong with that. But unfortunately, they just did not feel exciting. The third act, however, when it comes down to the big showdown, is fun. Alba gets all the credit here. He totally makes this movie. He's a complete badass, excuse my language. He's absolutely fun. He's, he has the monologues. He's, he's just an absolute riot, and I really enjoyed him. But pretty much the whole entire movie just has dialogue that's not cheesy, it's just bad. And it doesn't have any real depth to it at all. Did so, we watch the same movie? I think so. Okay, well I absolutely loved it. Like, I think you need to watch it. However, full on review, ChasingCinema.com. Do we have an idea of how many stars we're going to be getting? Uh, it's going to be floating around the mediocre range of a two, maybe one and a half. Gosh! Sir, you loved it? Yeah, I loved it. Ah, I you love everything. I don't know. That's not true. <laughs> Everyone else loved it. You loved everything except good movies like Iron Man 3. No, that was... A, Mandarin was stupid. Anyway, if you want the full on review, you can argue like us. Com, yes. And you can debate like us. And if this is the first time you're seeing any of our episodes, this is the call to action. This is the most important part. Number one, we want to know what you guys think. So in the comments section below, leave all that stuff. Let us know what you thought of the movie. I personally loved it. I actually want to say this real quick too. I think that the movie is not going to perform well. It's not tracking well. Um, but I thought the movie was awesome and I don't think it's going to be underappreciated, but you didn't care you for think it either. It, do you think it'll make as much, do you think Grown Ups 2 or, or Pacific Rim? Right now, tracking wise, Grown Ups 2 is supposed to do better, which I think is absolutely ridiculous for what I just saw. I thought it was awesome. But if you want to know what we thought about Pacific, uh, Grown Ups 2, you could also go on our review. Louis Vuitton took that, ChasingCinema.com slash Grown Ups 2. And that's going to be on there too. Push, give us a thumbs up. Push subscribe if you haven't seen anything Chasing Cinema. Go to my channel, you can do the same. In the description box, we're going to leave our Facebook and Twitter, that way you can stalk him legally and yeah, it's okay and you can a... like his fan page sure until next episode see you guys next week we'll see everybody soon